today we're going to talk about the hottest balls in the hobby. Spiky bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from spikybits.com, and I wanted to talk to you about a hot button issue, according to Facebook. Uh, new mixing balls from Army Painter. It's on the on the, from the outside looking in. I think this is a great product, and I'll explain. I'll explain to you why. Why you, in my opinion, should be supporting this product here. But there's been a little bit of negativity about this product. Uh, from some folks on Facebook. I know people say bad things on Facebook all the time. Who who, who would have guessed? But let's dive into it before I just stand up here and talk for five minutes. So the story all starts here over on armypainter.com. And let me show you this. So you can go to their site, click on hobby tools right here at the top, and then it'll show you all of the new wonderful tools that are on pre-order for delivery in March, 2019. Army Painter will be coming out with a new retailer rack of just hobby supplies. And it's great for retailers. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I think it's about two feet wide. And not only can they stock all of the must have hobby essentials for their customers, such as yourself, but customers can just go in and get everything all at one stop, support their local game store, support Army Painter, support people actually in the tabletop hobby instead of going on Amazon and buying junk and subpar quality products out there. Now, Army Painter sent out a bunch of samples to uh, folks on YouTube here, reviewers, influencers, people like myself, to check out the new hobby supplies ahead of the release of this rack. And they have all the items on here for pre-order. They recently did a post on their Facebook about the mixing balls and how cool they were. I think they featured one of the reviewers and they were like kind of explaining it all and why it's good. And a lot of the comments took me by surprise. They were like, you should include this as standard in your paint pots, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of people pile on and I have a lot of things to say. And Army Painter replied in kind that, you know, basically it's not in the cards. The machinery isn't set up right for that. They were very nice about it, but at the, you know, long end and short end of it, I think people were kind of asking for a little too much from Army Painter, and I'll explain why here in a second. Um, let's take a look at the mixing balls themselves before I actually show them to you and explain uh, a lot more about that. Like I said, you can click on this, and it's gonna show you all the different things about them. Now here is basically how it works. Hey, you uncork, or you pull the, the nozzle out, you put the ball in, you shake it up really well. Whenever you need it, you're gonna get a nice solid mix. Pretty standard stuff right there. The next image is gonna show you how big they are. They are 5.5 mm's in diameter. So what that means is it's about a quarter of an inch, give or take. <laughs> uh, 25 millimeters is, 25 mil round is about an inch. So they're roughly a little bit bigger than say a quarter of an inch, or they're almost a quarter of an inch, give or take. They're, they're very, very close, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, super, super close. So you get a hundred of them in this pack. They're rust proof stainless steel. That's very important because yes, you can find stuff like this on Amazon. No, it's probably not cheaper for the same diameter and it'll probably rust unless you buy a very specific thing, which may or may not cost you more. This is going to give you a hundred of these right off the rack, ready to go to put into your paints and not ruin your paints. Uh, Let's be real, that's important. Not only does it support Army Painter, it supports your local retailer. You can get them all in one place. It is a very good thing for the hobby. And just to kind of drive that point home, I pulled up something over on Amazon. Here is something very similar, a hundred pack of quarter inch stainless steel nail polish mixing agitator balls. Of course they say that, you know, they're stainless steel, theoretically they won't rust, but you know, Army Painter put that to the test. They put their balls <laughs> in some salty water, uh, left it for two weeks with some other balls and those rusted. Now I've had some and salt water for the past couple of days since I got them. They haven't rusted yet and I'm gonna show them to you, but that is by no means a solid test. It's only been a couple of days, but we'll get there. I'm gonna leave them. We're gonna, we're gonna keep them cooking for a couple of days here. So a hundred pack of them is $764. Army Painter retail price is $699 for the same exact thing off the shelf at your local retail. So one of those instances where not only do you support your local retailers, support somebody in the hobby, not some random Amazon seller, 
and you also get the product that you know will work. I think it's a win-win all the way around, and that's assuming that there is an additional discount off the retail price at your local retailer. So the pack itself is, I mean, it's about average size. It's, you know, three, three, four inches, three, four inches tall. <laughs> uh, it's gonna come with all of the, uh, about five inches. Uh, it's gonna come with a hundred of the balls that you need right there. I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, some stuff on the back. It's very easy to use them. I mean, I could, and they're stapled right there. I mean, I could in theory use tweezers and do all that stuff that they recommend, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's be real. I'm always doing things the hard way here. So I'm just gonna grab some of this and just poop, drop it in there and it's all good and shake it up and that's a nice solid clink like I know I'm getting a good mix on their paint now some of these sometimes I squeeze out a little bit of the medium out of the top because here in North Carolina we don't need it's a little humid pretty much all the time and we don't need a whole lot of that medium but if you live somewhere like out west in the desert you're probably gonna want some of that now for custom mixes and things like where I've actually mixed the plate mail metal with the bright gold is that bright gold bright gold for all my edging on my custodes i put another ball in there and it was smaller i think it was a glass bead in the glass bead they're great because obviously you know they're not going to rust right because they're glass but as you can hear it's pretty buster and this is a nice big you know you're getting good agitation in there this while like i said it wouldn't rust well but it's kind of buster so i'm going to replace that one too but not right this second something else i want to show you too is um the like i said i had i had their balls in a little salty water right here uh so far nice and clean no rust or anything like that but it's only been a couple of days probably not a super good test but i wanted to get this video done because i kind of felt like the comments on that facebook i was a little taken aback by them um, you know, let's be real. Let's compare it to ourselves here. Uh, you know, just our own personal lives. When you go want to buy something that's very expensive, like say you want to buy a house, right? You take out a 30 year mortgage on this thing. And we're talking houses are a couple hundred thousand dollars, right? In some cases less than that, some cases more than that. It depends on how much you make, I suppose. But let's, let's compare that to machinery, industrial machinery to actually put all the paint in these bottles right here. You're talking a company that started out, you know, roughly 10 years ago, 11 years ago. They, they probably took out a note for a large piece of machinery that may be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. And to 10 years later to come out with a nice value add a la carte product that you can just pick up and it supports your retailers, it supports your, your local game stores, your people in the hobby, Army Painter themselves, and have folks kind of jump their shit, pardon my French, because they need to put those in the bottles. Um, they, it would be very hard to reconfigure that equipment. And not only that, they're shipping this stuff all over the world. There's regulations on things like this, like steels and different things. I mean, with tariffs, all sorts of crazy things. Add an extra weight. I mean, this, it doesn't seem like it's a lot, but that could add a little bit extra money and cause extra uh, tariff and custom headaches as well. Not only the fact that they've taken out a note probably on their machinery, uh, to redesign at this point, you might as well just probably buy a whole new m piece of machinery to drop these things in there. And if it was that easy, let's be real, Games Workshop would do it, Vallejo would do it, all the big m movers and shakers out there would do it. But at the end of the day, I think folks were just kind of asking for too much and I was really taken aback by it. Um, they're coming out with all this great hobby stuff here. I mean, for the price, you really can't beat it. This is their... Um, their new hobby set size paint it's 12 mls and it, while it may look smaller it is than their normal size paint which you can buy off the rack for three dollars for 18 mls this is actually the same amount of paint as a games workshop paint <laughs> keep that in mind this same amount of paint is this um this is not full obviously and well this probably is definitely feels more more fuller than this paint here every time i go to decant one of these paint pots into a 15 ml pot or bottle i've always noticed that the paint barrier comes up to here and i'm like hmm, that's really weird but long story short it might not get all of the sides but either way i think for the value for three dollars price point and now the citadel paint is 465 i think army painters really doing everybody a solid and uh you know, it's just, just just those comments took me aback. I think they've got a great product out there. They're doing great things for hobbyists. And at the end of the day, I would really just kind of appeal, you know, cut them a little slack. I think they got great products. 
They're great people. They're doing great things out there. And they may not be able to put this into this, but there's no reason you can't spend $7, which is less than Amazon, to pick up a pack for yourself and go ahead and, you know, do them all into your paints. Yeah, you might have more, but you can put double in there and you get that extra agitation, what have you. So I feel like at the end of the day, uh, they're doing good things. And maybe some of those comments were a little over the top, so to speak. But hopefully this is kind of... Uh, opened folks eyes and kind of explained better what the product is how good it is while it's important and how to use it and why army painter is perhaps a uh, better position than some of the other paint companies out there which also don't include agitator balls in uh their paints right <laughs> am i right <laughs> anyways thank you very much for for watching this video i kind of drew it on and i kind of got on uh, a little bit of a soapbox there but man the internet it's a crazy place right <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos